Hi everyone, today we are talking about working with dates in Python. We're going to talk about another module. This is the date time module. Again, just like the ones we've seen before, you import the name of the module. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things inside of the date time module. So if we run dir, we can see that these are the different objects that we can work with. We can work with something called date. We can work with something called date time. So yes, date time is the name of the module, but then there's also an object inside of date time called date time. For certain modules, the name of the module matches the name of the object that you're going to use. For today's purposes, we're only going to work with the date object. So if we do date time dot date and we run this, here are all the things that we can do. Again, for our purposes in the newbies, we're going to ignore all of these things with the underscores and we're going to focus on the ones down here. So there's something called day, uh, there's something called max, min, today, month. There's all kinds of different things that we can work with here. You start by importing date time and then you use the date time dot date followed by parentheses and you put in some information. Hopefully you can guess what this is, but this is in fact the year. This is the month and this is the day. And if I print this directly, it prints out the date. I want to start by taking a look at the type of this. So if we look, we get the class date time dot date. So this is technically its own special class in Python. We'll talk more about this in a future newbie byte. But for today, just think about this as this is a special object. It is a date object. One of the things that you can do here is you can look at the month. If we use the label for this object of my date and we follow it by the dot notation and then the month, we get back just the month portion of this. I can change this to day and I get just the day. And you guessed it, we can actually use just the year and we have it right there. You might have noticed that all of the things that I typed in on the previous screen had no parentheses at the end, and that's because they are attributes. We're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the difference between an attribute versus methods. Methods are functions that are associated with certain types of objects. What we saw in the previous one isn't a function, it just returns an attribute of the object. And so I like to think of attributes as character traits. Every date object that we create has a character trait of a year, of a month, and of a day. And you access those individual traits or those characteristics, in other words, the attribute of the object, by doing the dot and then followed by whichever attribute you want. Let's talk about weekday. Weekday is not an attribute, it is a method. So if I run this without the parentheses, this is what we get back. Don't be alarmed by this. This is just a message telling us that this is a built-in method. The name of the method is in fact weekday. It's part of the datetime.date object, and then we get this number at the end. This number is just where Python is storing this object in memory. For our purposes in the newbies, we really don't care about this number. Just know that whenever you see a message that looks like this, you probably forgot to put parentheses at the end of your method or a function call. So if I come back up here and I follow it with parentheses to actually call the method or to use the method, and I run this, I get back the number two. This is a number that represents the day of the week. I put together this little table, it just shows us that each of these numbers is associated with a different day of the week. Since we got back to number two, that tells us that May 24th, 2023 happened on a Wednesday. You can do really powerful things with this. I'm going to go ahead and change this to birthday, and I'm going to do the same thing here. I was born in 1986, so I'm going to change this to 86. I was born in May, but I was born on the 19th. When I run this, I get a number of zero. When I go back to my table and I look up zero, it turns out that I was born on a Monday. So this should be all the information that you need to solve today's bite. You're going to try to figure out what day of the week 
Pie Bites was started. Good luck on today's bite.